How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to clean out the dust from this HP Omen. Model is 17-AN100CA. This is the one that we're working on. It will probably be the same process for multiple laptops. So if you have an HP Omen, it probably is going to be something similar to this. We're gonna clean the fans and then I'm gonna show you guys where you're going to install RAM if you were going to upgrade and install the RAM. And at any moment in this video, if you want to skip ahead, I will put an index in the description of some of the topics that we cover so you can skip around. But I do encourage you to watch the whole video through, know your skill set. If you're uncomfortable at any point, maybe ask a friend or a family member that is a little bit more handy with electronics to give you an assist. Without further ado, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the laptop. I like this computer because of pretty simple opening and upgrade ability. All you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver, electronic screwdriver in order to open up the bottom case. As you can see, there's two screws here, two screws here, two screws here, two screws here, and two screws here. And we're gonna take all of those screws off in order to get the bottom case off and get into those fans to look at the RAM. And once you get out all 10 screws, you wanna take something small, thin, and plastic and run it between the bottom case and the upper of the computer, and it will start releasing clips. I like to use these little plastic razor blades. I have a pack of 100 of them that I got off of Amazon. I will put a link to them in the description. I use them for a lot of things, from scraping off stickers to opening cases. It's sharp enough to assist in certain places, but it won't scratch plastic like a metal razor blade would. And I'm just running it along where the bottom case meets the computer to, to pull up some clips, and you'll start feeling it unlock, and then there we go is the the massive release and then you can see it gives us access to the computer. So once we get the computer open, if you were to replace the battery, you would have to take out a couple screws that are mounting the battery out, pull out the battery connector, replace that. If you were to replace the data hard drive, that's right here. The, the solid state hard drive's right here if you were to upgrade that. I think this only has 128 gigabytes, so you probably would be upgrading that if, if you need more storage in your operating system, programs, and games. Here's the RAM sticks right here. If you're doing a RAM upgrade, you're just going to pull a little bit away on both of these RAM tabs, and then pull that RAM out, and then the same with the bottom one, and then put your eight gigabytes in. And then if you're upgrading the other slot to eight gigabytes, you just slip it in right there to give it 16 gigabytes of RAM instead of 12. Now for the actual cleaning of the fans. As you can see, this left fan right here, it's got a lot of dirt, dust, and dander in it, and we're going to try to open it up. We're gonna try to get to it by removing this bracket right here, this back vent, because we're gonna have to lift the fan up to really get in there and clean it. We're gonna take out a couple screws right here, right here, right here, and then there's a couple more at the top that we might have to take out. So we've taken off this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw right here, this screw, this screw, and there's one hidden screw right in there. And you gotta make sure you get that screw off to take this top plate off. In order to take this top plate off, you have to put a little bit of upwards pressure right here and then peel it back and that allows that to drop off just like that. And if you got dust in here, you can give it a clean with a Q-tip and some alcohol. This one actually isn't that bad. It exposes this one more screw right here, which you have to take out, take out in order to get this bracket lifted. This is now free to move, but there is a cable here, so do be careful of that that you can, the cable you can loosen up like that in order to move this bracket up out of the way. Or you can disconnect this completely in order to feed it through that bracket right there. Now we have pretty good access to the fan. This silver screw right here I'm gonna take out and that gives us access to lift the fan. Then we can, then when we can clean out these exhaust fins right here. It's where it catches a lot of dog hair and dander, so cleaning those exhaust fins are a good idea. But look at that from the exhaust fin. So do the best you can to clean that left exhaust fin. 
We're going to disconnect the fan, which is right here. And then once you have the fan out, you'll see a couple little tabs on the top of it where you can take a flathead screwdriver or some sort of metal prying tool and just put some upward force on it as you go around. Just press up and then pull and you should be able to expose the fan as much as possible. And then once you do that, you can really get in there with a dry brush and just brush all of that nasty out. I'm spinning the fan. Once you dry brush it a little bit, you can put some alcohol on a toothbrush and you can wet brush it a little bit to really try to get some of that nasty out even more. And then once you get that as clean as you wanna get it, you can reinstall that top plate, which you're gonna just line it up based off of the shape. That pointy part goes at the top right here. You can line up all of these little tabs and then gently press down and you'll hear it starting to click again. There might be some dust underneath the fan so you can clean that out as well. Now we're going to reinstall the fan, which you're gonna make sure that you put it down below this thermal pipe and then reattach the fan to the motherboard right here. And then we're going to reinstall the one lower fan screw right here. Then we're going to put this bracket back on. Don't forget to feed that through there. And then that rests nicely there to reinstall all of these screws that we took out. And just so you remember, the one black screw goes right there. The rest of them were silver. And then we're gonna have to put this piece back on. Which you kind of just attack it from the back and then it pushes back on there. There's a little plastic mount right there that kind of holds it in. And then the last two silver screws go right here. And then the other one goes right in here. This is the hidden one. This is the little secret one that if you don't know, you might go around breaking something. And then put these, these two small, shorter, stubby black screws back in. And don't forget to reattach that power in right there and then re-thread that cable back around like it was. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other fan. It's gonna be a similar process, but not exactly because just the way that the fans are shaped are a little bit different. And so we're gonna take off this front plate first, which is this silver screw, this silver screw, and then these two black screws. Lift this side to get it above that little plastic pin that's kind of holding it in place, and then pull that back. Now we have that mounting bracket. We're gonna have to, uh, this black screw, this silver screw, this silver screw, and this silver screw. Now we're gonna lift off this bracket. Set that to the side. <laughs> Dust bunnies are starting to fall out. Now in order to get this fan out, we're gonna have to take out the SSD, which is just this one screw right here, and then pull it out because there is this little mounting bracket right here. Uh, we're gonna take off this screw, this silver screw right here, and that allows us to lift that fan right out and then disconnect it from the motherboard. And you can see some of those nasty dust bunnies in there that we're gonna brush off. We're gonna do the same thing in this computer. We're gonna clean the dust out of those heat fins, and I'm going to open up this fan by turning it over and just lifting up gently on some of the tabs, trying not to break anything. I can't stress enough how important it is to clean out these exhaust fins. That's where most of your buildup is going to get clogged. Then you're gonna be getting a lot more dust and dirt stuck in your fan, and then eventually your fan could fail so make sure to clean out 
this part right here. That is where your, your airflow restriction is really gonna bottleneck before anything. Okay, to put this back together, you're gonna line it up again, press down on those tabs. This one doesn't snap. This one doesn't snap down because when you pull it up, there's little pieces of plastic that pop off. So when I put this back together, the, um, the mounting bracket's gonna put a downward force on it, so that will be perfectly fine. Slide it back in to those fins, and then it's gonna sit quite nicely right there. Reattach the fan to the motherboard. There's only one screw we gotta put in right there. And I'm gonna take some B7000. For some reason on this fan, a bunch of little pieces of plastic broke off. Very loose, as you can see, it's like very loose on the top. So this B7000, I'm just going to put a couple dots of it where each of the mounting points are because when I popped it off to clean it, a bunch of little plastic things broke off. It's just the way that it's designed. So this is going to keep, this is gonna keep it from rattling basically just create a little a little bit of re-adhesion between those two fan plates. And this stuff is great. I highly recommend that you keep this in your toolkit. I use this for so many projects. It's just really good to have. This stuff's got a metal tip, a metal cap, so it never dries out. And I've been using this stuff for a while now. I absolutely love it for little projects like this. It's very, I will put a link to this in the description. You could use another type of adhesive here like super glue, but something like B7000, it's strong enough and flexible enough that you could pop it off again if you were to do another repair. It wouldn't give you as much issues if you were to use like super glue. A very mild, flexible adhesive. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm gonna let this dry maybe for five or 10 minutes and I'm gonna come back for the rest of the installation. So now that's dry enough to the touch, it should stop it from rattling. For some reason, those tabs being removed were causing a rattle. We're now going to reinstall this bracket which sits right on top like that. And it does have a couple little plastic anchor points that you have to hit over here and up at the top to make it rest correctly into place. And then we're gonna take all those silver screws and reinstall them. And the one black screw goes up here at the top. Then this little exhaust port goes on. I'm gonna show you guys this one at a little different of an angle. When I put this on, this little hook part back here, it actually goes into the top part right here. And then that comes down. And then this comes across like this. And then these tabs, and then these tabs right here have to lift up a little bit in order to snap it into place like that. And then there's a hidden silver screw down here. There's an exposed silver screw right here. And then there's these two short little nubby screws that go right here. Uh, we're gonna reinstall the SSD. Uh, it goes face down, so that way, and then you press it in, press down, and then reattach that mounting screw. Okay, you're gonna wanna double check that everything is reconnected. And one last thing we're gonna clean is, you can see there's some dust and dander on this back plate. So I'm going to take this run it under some water, take a brush to it, try to get all that off. I'm gonna let this piece dry and then I'm going to reinstall it. So essentially what I did was I took this back off and then I ran this underwater, took a, a brush, brushed it, got all of the dust and dander from the intake because it sucks the airflow through the bottom here on the outside. And then I also wiped down the inside and I set it outside to dry because I'm really, it's really dry here in Texas. So it just dried, we're gonna reinstall it. These two screws on the back here, they stay on the machine. We're just gonna set that down just like that. Give it a little press. Just clip those, in. get those clips to clip in all the way around. And then it's just a matter of screwing all of these 10 screws down. And just like that, the repair, the clean is done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the clean or about the repair, put them in the comments section. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.